Welcome to the Morning Coffee Show. Today it's Maccas! Yes, I said Maccas. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining the Morning Coffee Show. Uh, this is for Fang, of course. I had He said go get Maccas, so I went and got Maccas. Uh, welcome, everybody. Thank you. It's a great day. It's a great mood. I'm not in Nagoya. Ah, oh, what a crazy ass two days. Sorry I didn't go live yesterday, but work called and, um, well, I just couldn't go live. So good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining here. Mindy's mom is in the house. Thank you, Mindy's mom, for being here. Night Riders gal, Cobra, Rachel, JR, how are you? Mfos, The Relic, uh, Moto Gnome is here, Carlos is here, and Nightbot, I'm sure. J Vlog is in the house. Ramsey Silent, oh, things are working so far for you, brother. Of course, Fang, you are here. Thank you for being here. Anna, how are you? Long time. Hope you're doing well. Uh, who else did I see? Nancy Young, good morning, darling. Uh, da -da -da -da. Nick R. Oh, yes, Nick R. Thank you for the PayPal chat. I appreciate that before the stream even started. And, uh, okay, Lynn, good morning. I'll scroll back up and try and say hi to you as you pop in. Declan, good morning. Cyrus Spray, good morning. Sandra C, good morning. Carmen, good morning. Oh, I already said happy birthday to you. It's okay. <laughs> Jason M., my brother, how are you? So today, I figured, why not try out this mega muffin thing? Hey, Ison, how are you? Um, but I also got these apple something pancakes. And, uh, of course, the McDonald's coffee, hash brown, as you saw at the beginning there. Hey, Troy, how are you? And, but I had to go to the vending machine. I had to get my black coffee on. And uh, away we go. Hey, Vin, good morning, brother. Uh, but, yeah, I, wanted, I was actually going to do a morning coffee on something a little bit controversial. And I, I'm going to talk a little bit about it. But I, that was my thumbnail at first. And then I changed it to this because uh, I remembered uh, a couple days ago... Feng uh, super chatted me with a uh, go to Macca's. So, you know, you got to live up to Feng every once in a while and his damn Macca's. I'm saying Macca's way too freaking much. McDonald's, raunchy Rons, whatever you want to call it. Just caught the bag. Oh, my God, it's so windy here. Um, but, yeah, guys, uh, I'll get right into the morning coffee uh, news first before we dive in to show you this Mega Muffin. Um, and this was the Mega Muffin set. Um came with the Mega Muffin, which is basically a double sausage McMuffin or something like that. Uh, a coffee and a hash brown for five bucks. And then the, um, you've never heard of Raunchy Ron's Mindy's Mum? That must be a Canadian thing. I have no idea. Hi, Janet Sun. Um, these pancakes, I thought, oh, two bucks. Why not? Wait till you see them. But uh, let's get into the uh, morning coffee show news first. Hey, Marty, good morning, and thank you for the other day. I truly appreciate it. Uh, State of emergency is going to be lifted, uh, of course, this Sunday. Hey, DeConnor, good morning. Um, but they are still going to be asking the bars and restaurants to close by 9 o'clock, not 8 o'clock. Lord Ewok, good morning. Um, and in doing so, they're going to try to monitor about 10,000 establishments each day to make sure that they are adhering to uh, closing early and stuff. And if they are, they are going to be receiving 400, no, 40,000 yen, 385 bucks American, whatever it is. Uh, hey, Joshua, how are you? Good morning and thank you for joining. Um, per day that they do close early until the government decides, you know, like we are curbing the virus and yada, 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 yada. Um, at such time that we, they can stay open late. Now, I was talking to a friend of mine, I, who, uh, oh, thank you, Feng, I appreciate that, brother. Um, you had to say Maccas, though, in the comment. Did you have to say Maccas? Like, really? You just had to say Maccas, Maccas, Maccas? <laughs> I was talking to a friend of mine, I, who owns a bar over in Omia, and today I'm not in Omia. Um, and I was talking to her the other night, and I actually wanted to sit down and do an interview with her, um, kind of talking with her about, um, you know, how it's affected her bar and stuff like that. And she's like, she's opening up at 5 p.m. and closing at, at, at 8 o'clock. Sucks, man. Uh, but moving on, uh, more Tokyo Olympic scandal, of course. Um, this guy named Hir Hiroshi Sasaki, uh, he was part of the Tokyo Olympic Committee of some sort. I just didn't catch what he was doing. But during the opening cer ceremonies, um, somebody just sent me a PayPal... I won't say the name, but if you're in the stream, thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. Um, 
he has resigned over the flack he was getting. Now, there is a, a comedian out there. Hi, Fran. Um, J-Vlog, really? You had to say it before I said it? Come on, guys. Really? Come on! Croc. That's all I'm saying. Um, Naomi Watanabe. She's a larger woman, but a comedian. Frickin' hilarious as hell. And, um, yeah, he basically said he wanted her to come down from the sky. Dressed as a, in a pig costume called Olympig. How frickin' bad is that, eh? Did, did the silly thing give my real name? Yeah, uh, JR, I think it did. It looked like a Japanese name. Are you Japanese? But thank you so much, JR, for that. I appreciate that. Um, can you imagine? Like, I, 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 what is it with Japan in their, their comments like that? I just don't get it. You're not Japanese? Okay, I, I just saw something. It, it didn't look... Anyways, thank you. <laughs> I, I don't get it. You know, all these comments about women, um, or, you know, I, I guess that's just the way Japan is nowadays, you know? Like, it, it's pretty pathetic, in my opinion. That's all I'm going to say. Um, and then, yeah, Japan, um, I, I just, I, I'm perplexed when I read this, because, you know, that guy, the head of the Olympic Committee or whatever, he, he left, um, you know, saying women talk too much and things like that. Um, and then this guy, you know, calling somebody uh, a limp, a limp pig. Um, just, who is this guy? Don't recognize Drew without the suit. Sorry, man. Sorry. I had to wear a suit for a couple of days. I'm actually going to do a staff meeting with my teachers uh, in a bit. But yeah, it, it's pathetic, man. And I just don't like um, how sometimes men in this country treat women. But I don't want to get into it too much. That's all I'm saying. Hey, Mambo, good morning. Hey, guys, you ever play backgammon? I'll wait for your answer. When I was in the casino business uh, for the 15 years that I was, or something like that, um, on our breaks, I used to get a half an hour break, two hour shift, half hour break, two hour shift. Colib Col Colibri Flyer? Good morning. Um, I used to play a lot of backgammon, you know, and we'd play for, you know, a dollar a point or 25 cents a point, 50 cents a point, whatever. I used to love backgammon. I was pretty good at it. But Japan is, they're saying now Japan um, is emerging as a powerhouse on the world stage of backgammon. Backgammon's a fun game, man. Hey, Traveling Gabriel. Hey, Irvin. Good morning. Relic, did I say good morning to you? I'm not sure, but good morning. Um, but yeah. Can you imagine? Because they get shogi or shoji or whatever the frick it's called. But backgammon? Interesting. And this was the, um, what's backgaming? It's not backgaming, it's backgammon, Feng. <laughs> Jeez. Do you, do you know anything, Feng? Really, do you know anything? <laughs> Here is the controversial topic I wanted to really quickly talk about before I show you guys the food, which is getting cold. Uh, Same-sex marriage ban, they're saying, is unconstitutional. I'm not going to get into it, but current uh, rules in Japan, same-sex couples are not allowed to legally marry. They can't inherit each other's assets, and there are no parental rights. Now, I, of course, I am all for uh, equality and yada, yada, yada. And I know a lot of countries around the world, you know, have certain issues, states in America or provinces in Canada or wherever. But uh, finally, it seems like Japan is starting to creep a little bit forward and get into the 2021 times. And, you know, I have a few um, friends here that are in that community. And uh, I, I really hope for them that... Uh, things will work out. Of course, we all have uh, two friends, the Canadian provinces of Minnesota. <laughs> uh, of course, we all have two friends, uh, you know, that um, I really hope, you know, will in the future uh, really work out because that would be freaking awesome to go to their wedding. You know who I'm talking about. So that's it for the morning coffee news, guys. Uh, I was in Nagoya 
for a couple of uh, days. Uh, you saw the Shinkansen video with the Ekiben. Thank you guys all for that. I really appreciated that. Um, but yeah, I got to Nagoya and honestly, it was just like, uh, I didn't feel like filming. I just didn't want to do it. Um, and I had, a, you know, two days of all day meetings. Um, like I wanted to go to uh, Fushimi, I think it was called, because Moto Nome uh, kind of knew that area. I wanted to go in the Sakai area. Actually, I, I wanted to meet Tomoko, and she even was like, oh my God, you're in Nagoya. And I was like, sorry, but business only, I gotta get back to uh, Tokyo. Uh, the Shinkansen, I was surprised, you know, like every other seat was busy, and it just surprised me, you know, how busy it still was. There's a Shinkansen every five minutes almost going down to Nagoya, whether it's the uh, Kodama, the Hikari, or the Nozomi. And um, yeah, I was surprised it was busy going both ways. So I wonder what reactions you'll get to eating an Ekiben on the Keihin Tohoku line. <laughs> now that is the funniest comment of today. So, all right guys. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do here, but I'll try and uh, show you guys what uh, we got. This here is the Mega Muffin, of course, which I think is gonna look pretty freaking awesome. Look at that, look at that. Of course, it's uh, got some bacon on there, double sausage, ketchup. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but this is my breakfast, and I don't usually ever do uh, breakfast. These are the petite pancakes. Check it out, seriously. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Like they're the size of my freaking thumb. You get uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You get seven little pancakes here. And of course you have like an apple jelly and I guess a, uh, I don't know what the hell that is, cream or some sort, but it's quite easy. You just squeeze it. And let's see what's happened. Oh, it's kind of apple pancakey, syrupy kind of stuff going on here. Yum. Coffee. Hash brown is hiding behind here. Because, ladies and gentlemen, we all know, we all know that there's nothing better than McDonald's hash browns, right? Oh, thanks, Irvin. I appreciate that, brother. Hey, Loretta. How are you? Good morning. Get some nitro pills with your breakfast. Okay, at least you didn't say natto. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. So, cheers to everybody out there. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, it is Friday here uh, in Japan. My last day of work this week. Thank freaking God. Oh. 7 uh, Eleven hash browns are up there. Really? You think so, Declan? And you know what's funny is I don't eat anything with ketchup. I really don't, except for french fries but I don't have french fries. If natto was in a pill, you could do it? Probably, Marty, I bet you I could do it then, but you know me, I don't like natto and I just, yeah. All right, here we go, taste test. Ah, this is apples and cream or something, but, uh, huh. oh, the apple part is really sweet. Hey, Richard. It's a frosting. I, I don't remember what uh, it was exactly, but apples and frosting pancakes. It's kind of weird that I'm eating the sweet first, but they are kind of cute, don't you think? Mmm. Yeah, it's like a frosting. Sweet just like you? <coughs> Yeah, I, I can't eat the sweet. Oh, I'll eat that after. Of course, I, I honestly, I think, like I have uh, frozen hash browns from Guillaume Supa. Uh, some of you guys might know that uh, grocery store. Comparable, but I don't know, something about the grease in McDonald's fryers just makes everything taste that much better. Mmm, it's the same taste every freaking time. I will say, as much as I like to, hey Mike, good morning. As much as I like to make fun of McDonald's and stuff, I will say, 
that um, McMuffins, I think, come on, seriously, wind? These are the bomb. Mm. Look at that. Mm. Two layers of sausage, cheese smushed in between, the egg, the bacon, the ketchup. Oh, man. That just hit the spot. Break the wind or pass the wind. <laughs> All right. Mm. 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 Pretty good. Mm. I saw somebody say that they thought American ketchup was too sweet. Okay, Marty's saying, oh man, I've given up, given these up, you're breaking me. Are you talking about the McMuffins? I wish I could find those sausage patties at the local supermarket. Probably won't, Jay Vlog. I've looked. Mackie, yeah, you know what, Marty, I agree. Like, breakfast is actually decent at McDonald's. I gotta say, I, I, I hate to say it because you know me, but um, yeah, I would agree. Coffee is less than, you know, what it is, but. Let's get 15 more likes, guys. Come on. I got two extra pounds just looking at it. <laughs> I think, you know, like Heinz ketchup, if you eat a lot of Heinz ketchup, then yeah, maybe it is a bit sweet, but um, like I, sometimes I use Heinz ketchup because of the price here, it's cheap, but I like um, Del Monte ketchup. I think it's got more of a tomato-y kind of uh, uh, taste to it. And yeah, that's just what I like though, so. Mm. Mm, it's pretty good, yeah. While I was in Nagoya, ladies and gentlemen, because I was gone for two days from live streaming, um, spent all day in meetings, went out uh, for Chinese food, uh, met a couple, co mm, excuse me, met a couple co-workers uh, that I had never met before, so that was pretty cool. And um, yeah, we went Chinese food, uh, it was really good. Hey, Neil, good morning. Um, how was the Mackies in Nagoya? There was no Mackies in Nagoya. Um, and then the bill was about $190, $191 something. And uh, I went to go pay with my credit card and the Chinese restaurant didn't even take credit card. So I had to pay cash. And uh, for about, I don't know, so was it six, seven people. So, you know, roughly what, a little less than 30 bucks or something, right? Um, we had like harumaki spring rolls. Uh, we had subata. We had uh, some kind of vegetable greeny Chinese thing, vegetables. Uh, we had maba dofu. And it, actually this restaurant was actually uh, labeled as a Taiwan restaurant, but uh, it was pretty good. I was, I was uh, happy about that. And of course we all had about five or six beers, uh, draft beers. Or some people had like lychee, sour, or highballs, or you know, kind of things like that. And then, <laughs> We, of course, because every, everything closed at nine o'clock in Nagoya, um, we went and stood outside of a Lawson for two and a half hours drinking Conveni beers. Which is the best way to drink beer in Japan, I still think. Um, and yeah, I was passed out by about 12 o'clock and uh, the next day, I was humming and hawing whether I, I should go live from my room or not. And I just said, you know what? I'm just not going to do it. And we had a meeting all day, got Shinkan sent home. I got home and I was in bed by 10.30, kind of uh, trying to, you know, comment on people commenting on the videos and try to catch up a little bit. But we're here today and uh, yeah, I got another freaking meeting now. Oh, cheers. Mm. Now, of course, this weekend coming up. Not sure what I got planned. I will plan uh, for something tomorrow. Um, ah, 
and hopefully uh, you know you guys will come along for the ride uh, on the Explore Japan uh, Saturday and then of course Sunday is Patreon only uh, live streaming um, but I also have a dentist appointment on Sunday and massage therapy appointment on Sunday so I gotta work that out but that's all I got for this weekend so far oh that mega muffin is so good man really mmm I'm thinking of going somewhere tomorrow, exploring all the back alleys. Somewhere. I gotta figure out where. Um, Cause back alleys are always my thing. Exploring the unknown, I guess you could say. But yeah, other than that, it was nice to take a day off. Mm. That's all I got left, Fang. You all know I'm not a big eater. This is satisfying. Declan, I've heard of geocaching, and that's about it. It's just something I'm not into, I guess. I have no idea. I like Mick, M McFuck, what? Mick, what is Feng saying? I'm spitting shit all over the place. Mm. Hi, Trevor. Well, it looks like some of you geocache or whatever, so. I just saw Minnie's mom say it. Trevor. Fang is excited about this. <laughs> Marty. <laughs> Thanks, Declan. All right, so some old guy that doesn't know what geocaching is. What is geocaching? Honestly, I don't get it. I've never... <laughs> Geocache? Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. Honestly, I don't know all, like, you know, in depth what geocaching is. Somebody explain it to me in the chat. And let's get to 50 likes, people. Hmm. A fun treasure hunt. Mm. That still doesn't explain to me. <laughs> How do you do it? And what happens if what happens if there's no freaking treasure? Use your phone GPS to find the treasure. So who puts the treasure where, huh? It's like, oh, really, Modena? Oh, okay, yeah, there we go, thank you. Now you put it into my language. It's like Pokemon Go, no freaking thank you. Oh, okay, it's for people over 40? <laughs> what do they call it for people over 50? Oh. All right, we got these little pancakes here still. I'm gonna do two at a time here. But they are, you know, for two, I don't know, what is it? About 25 yen per little pancake here. They're, just, you know, Retro caching? <laughs> I guess that would be fun. There we go. But I don't know, like retired caching. 
You find containers in places if you walk past hundreds of times, hidden out of view. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is, yeah, okay, I get the idea, but treasure. Like, so I'm geocaching, uh, stimulus check caching. Oh, damn, yeah, baby. Um, and I, I'm trying to find something. Like, I, I don't get the, like, it's just buildings or, you know what I mean? You guys keep saying treasure, but. If there's freaking gold sitting around this city that I don't know about, then yeehaw, baby. Yeah, I'm gonna have to re Google it. Hey, Amos, how are you? Good morning. You can find out cash is out in the desert. Yeah, I don't get it. I still don't get it. You know, thick headed, hard headed. I got $10 in geocache box once time. I've also found little Hello Kitty. <coughs> okay, so <coughs> what I'm getting here, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Okay, I, you guys are, Chad is going a little bit too hard here, but now it's a little package you find hidden somewhere. Usually some nonsense item in there that are cool that, to look at. You just put it back in places for others to find. Oh, okay. It could be a note, a message you left somewhere with a GPS location. Oh, so people actually said Mango? <laughs> what an awesome name! <laughs> Imagine a, like a gachapon capsule that's like a hidden in your tree. Okay, so people set this up. Obviously, right? They're not really bad, Lynn. I'll send a pic of the ones in Tokyo line group. Okay. Uh, there is little boxes people put stuff in and then you take something, you put something out. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe I should try that on a live stream one day. Oh, wait, I would need a second cell phone, right, Ram? <laughs> $100 bills hidden around? Oh, oh damn. Now, if they're, hundred, if they're $100 bills, I'll eat Nato too. No. <laughs> Buy a metal detector and find treasure. That's ah, okay, Neil. Eric surf six in the house. Love the picture of your uh, get some uh, snack packs, Eric, on Instagram. I gotta talk to you about that, actually, Eric. One day I'll message you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a superstar in the house. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have a superstar. It is the man, the myth, the legend, Eric Surf Six, who I haven't seen in two years since the last time we went to Yokohama. Good morning, Eric. How are you, sir? You could premiere it and use your GoPro. Oh, thank you, Leone. Yeah, I don't know what, maybe I should do a geocaching with Eric Surf 6. There you go. <laughs> I have no idea. But I'll, I'll learn uh, what geocaching is and how to do it and stuff. I'm just too old to understand how, the, how things go, you know? That would be fun. I'm trying to catch up with the comments here. I haven't eaten the snails yet. I'm still waiting for Eric. Geocaching, yeah, I, I don't know. I just gotta do it one day. Now, uh, unfortunately, um, yes, Irvin, I do have my Icos here. <sighs> I'm still sm smoking these stupid yellow uh, ones, which are not menthol. Drew, you can do it on live stream and we can yell out helpful hints. Oh, that'd be cool. So, hey, here, here's an idea. <coughs> time consuming? Well, I got lots of time sometimes. Could I do a live stream and you guys geocache for me and direct me where to go? Get on the train, go here, go there, blah, 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 blah. Would that work? And could I do it like, you know, once I get my um, charge cord, for my phone and gimbal hooking up together and we could do we could stream for like six hours. 
Would that work? I'm just wondering. Oh, Mindy's mom said, yes! Well, you know what, ladies and gentlemen? Maybe, uh, I, I'm not bad, Eric. I'm st trust me. I do not forget. You're part of this community. You know. When I say I'm going to do something, I'll do it. It's just this one's taking a bit of time. Cheers. Sorry, I'm doing the Icos here. Still not like cigarettes, but you find a cash in Odawara for sure. Yeah, okay, Irvin. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's the Tell Drew Where to Go show. Oh, well, you know that won't be about geocaching now, will it? <laughs> oh, no, Eric. No, not Pokemon Go. Are you, how many of you out there are frickin' Pokemon Go masters or whatever the hell you call it? I'm just wondering. Because, yeah, Pokemon Go bugs me. That would be cool, Lynn, absolutely. I miss Paul, I miss Eric, um, I miss Ryan. You know, it was uh, the last time I got together with them. Um, and then we went to a bar afterwards. Uh, it was pretty awesome. So I don't play Pokemon Go, but I collect cards. Took a year off, but playing again now. Well, guys, if you are Pokemon Go, maybe you should add Eric Surf 6 somehow. I don't know how you do that, but uh, I don't know. You're supposed to have friends in Pokemon Go and stuff like that. I have no idea. I'm still trying to get used to this saying frickin' Maccas instead of McDonald's. But I still like Ronchi Rons. Mm. Well, yeah, today, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I am actually in Agio Saitama. Um, a quaint little town northwest of Omiya. I have a lot of memories here. Uh, I come here every two weeks uh, for meetings and... Uh, mm. It's okay. Download the geocache app. I bet you can find one on the way to work. You only get a life and download the app already. <laughs> when are you doing a bowling stream? <coughs> um, that's one thing I got to think about is I wanted to go in to Tokyo Dome and uh, just, you know, bowl three or four games and maybe have Moto Known bet. <laughs> um, but I think it would be fun, you know, trying to get maybe a couple of uh, streamers, YouTubers together um, and go bowling. I think that would be pretty. Like I, last time I did it was with Tokyo Bree Bree. Uh, we just kind of did the Pittsburgh Green Bay kind of thing. Um, I know it forces me to walk around Urban. Uh, what did Moto Known say? Bowling on my way to the airport now. <laughs> Good morning, Jovis. But I think bowling would be a fun live stream, um, you know, with uh, a couple, a couple uh, other YouTubers. Um, but I, I'd have to give them a handicap. I think you know we all know Eric Sir Six. He's he's like the goat. Bah. He's good at everything, right? You'll all agree with me. I know you will. And. But is he good at bowling? Would I have to give him a handicap? I have a 300 handicap. Because <laughs> I am a pretty decent bowler, guys. Can you guys get over 100 points in uh, 10 pin? Can you? And does anybody ever remember my videos on bowling? Like, or um, about me? Like, do you guys remember what my average was when I was a semi-amateur bowler? Which I still actually, best product of all time, one. Since Windows, iPhone, Coca-Cola. Did you just call Eric Surf 6 a goat? I did. Greatest of all time, Mindy's mom, if you don't know what goat is. My best game was 230-something, yeah. My average was 184, I think it was. 
Uh, I have, I think, only one video, Rachel, I did with Tokyo Bree Bree about two or three years ago. I'll spot you 98 points. I think the best, Netflix or YouTube? Oh, YouTube for sure, Eric. That's for damn sure. Um, being Canadian, five pin bowling. Five pin is a different game, man, but it's a great game too. We're cutting much to, oh, I'm done this already. I tried smoking 199. Wow, Eric. Challenge is on. Do you accept my challenge, young man? Wait, maybe you're older than me. Oh, wait, you're younger than me. I don't know. Come up to Tokyo Dome. It's not that far. Let's do a uh, little uh, bowl bowlathon bowl bowlathon challenge. There you go. That if you lose, I gotta eat something that you pick and you gotta eat something that I pick. Oh wait, you like everything. You got durian and natto and pretty much every food available in Tokyo. That's not fair, no, that's not fair. what Declan say? How about darts? I don't know about that. Some of the hiding spots in the, oh, okay, I'll read that later. Durian natto, uh, no thank you. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is the McDonald's uh, Macca's kind of thing. Uh, 500 yen, you know, using, um, you know, the McDonald's coupons. It was only, it was regularly 550 yen. Um, I think, where's that receipt? No, I don't have the receipt anymore. The, the pancakes were 200 yen. So the total was $7, but not bad for, you know, you get a coffee, hash brown, uh, the mega muffin and, uh, the pancakes it's not a bad uh, deal for breakfast so uh, but thank you guys I got to go uh, get set up for my meeting I just took a breakfast break I was at work already and then uh, back to work again so um, guys let's get to 50 likes uh, thank you Fang um, and uh, thank you uh, Irvin for the super chats thank you Nick and uh, oh, and thank you Trevor and Gabriel now thank you so much um, and thank you JR for the PayPal chats I appreciate that I really do guys uh, I'll see you guys either later today, depending on my schedule, probably not, uh, but definitely tomorrow. Thank you, uh, community. Thank you, Emoji Club members. Uh, remember, uh, it all goes to charity uh, for 190 yen a month. You get that little red badge beside your name. Uh, thank you, moderators, and thank you, Patreon members. You truly all uh, make doing YouTube, being a live streamer, completely worth it because we have the greatest amazing littlest community on YouTube please check out these two videos here the patreon link is here if you would like to help support the patreon community and subscribe keep it real keep it raw straight to yourself because I always do and have a great freaking day people